Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Welcome back to the channel. It is about to piss some cattle and kittens around here. Let's get out to the garage for that happens. All right, and get ourselves out of that that weather out there and into the garage. I'll show you all what we got going on. All right, just want to welcome everybody back to the channel. It's been a little while. Had a bunch of projects, bunch of stuff going on. Got it done and we finally got our 2005 F-150 ranch truck restoration finished up. I'm gonna try and buzz through this pretty quick because that rain is coming and it is hot and sticky in here like you wouldn't believe. And since we're talking about hot and sticky, fellas, if you live in what we call one of these swamp ass climates, let me introduce you to a great product that very few people know about. This is called Fresh Balls. You can get this on Amazon. You should go buy some. Your girlfriend will thank you. The wife will thank you. Whoever washes your nasty old drawers is gonna thank you. And frankly, your nuts are gonna thank you. Pick you up some fresh balls. I'll put a link down below and you can just click on it and get you some fresh balls too. So if you've been tuning in for a while, then you'll remember when this old truck came in, it wasn't quite that pretty. And if you're new to the channel, well, this is what this pile of junk looked like. So to start out on this truck, we had a pretty tight little budget to deal with and we had a lot of stuff to do. First thing was, is the front of the truck had been in an accident and we opted to, one is, it used to have this valance that was right underneath the bumper. We took that off of there, we blacked all that out so it matches the chassis now. We straightened the bumper uh, best as we possibly could, and since it was still passable, put it back on the truck. The upper bumper, this had some holes that were punched through it uh, from a, I don't know, like a road barrier or something it went through. Um, that's why we're missing a tow hook on that side because the whole frame attachment is actually gone. That was a nasty stop. The driving lamps down here, you couldn't even see out of those. I've done a ton of videos on restoring lamps, so we restored those as well as restoring the headlights. We blocked out the whole core support, AC condenser and everything just made it look really nice and new. And you may ask if the truck is done, JW, why is the hood still off of it? Because we're still waiting for an engine to show up and well, that's why. Anyways, hey, if you're in the business, you know the part struggles right now. They are not fun. So as you saw in the photo, the truck was burgundy with that beige bottom. We changed this to a YZ white, which is a Ford color code, but we painted it in Emron single stage and then the bottom color is also the same product, uh, but that is Arizona beige that we kind of did a little bit of custom coloring with to, uh, to get that really bronzy finish. Over here on the side, we put that, the blacked out emblems. Mirror was working just fine, but we had to replace the glass on it. So we got the new glass in there. It all worked out pretty good. Windows weren't working so well, got that all straightened out. They're all working good now. Cosmetically, because, because the side windows on the truck are tinted, it gives the front windshield a really black appearance when you're looking directly on. On top of that, your A-pillar trims and your roof trims are the satin black. And the customer came up with the idea to shoot the roof satin black. So we did that. It actually turned out really nice looking. We carried that to the back and it just lines right up with the back window. 
Don't mind my trash that I still left in his truck. Then we replaced the rear cab light. And check this out. So that's all LED as well as third brake light. We cleaned all the glass really well, got rid of all the decals that were on it. Uh, straightened out all the body panels. I mentioned before there really wasn't a straight body panel. Jammed out the whole truck, took all the seals and everything off. Don't mind that burp, I'll edit it out. So anyways, we jammed out the whole entire truck when we painted this, we took every single one of the seals out of it so that it didn't really look like it was a burgundy truck that had just been repainted. That came out nice and clean. One of the previous episodes, we steam cleaned all of the carpet, we conditioned all the interior, we changed out all of the bulbs throughout the interior to LEDs. So. Now in the middle of the night, when you open up the door on this thing, you get yourself an x-ray. Um, they said we conditioned all the leather. There was about five Slurpees under the seat, not in their container that we had to suck out of there. Got that done. And now when you hop inside, truck smells fantastic. It's nice and clean. Not only that, we made a couple of door adjustments. Now the doors close really nice and solid. Let's see, what else did we do? Making our way to the back, added these uh, four by four off-road decals with the mountain range in there. That was kind of a nice little touch. Really can't tell down bottom, but to separate the two colors, there is actually a satin black quarter inch pinstripe. Making our way around the back. So this was one of the emblems that came off of the side. Um, I scotch brighted this all up and I hit that with the uh, Simcoat trim black. Always gives you that factory finish, looked really good. Got our American flag Ford emblem made for you right in China. New tail light that was busted out. Got the stereo working. Stereo was not working whatsoever. And we found when we took the front end apart that nobody uh, had plugged the antenna in. So actually got the stereo all in and working. All the body trims. All in all, pretty happy with it. Customer is going to take the truck over to discount tire. We unanimously said this truck would look best if you put it on those steel wagon wheels. Factory size, oversized all-terrain tires, and that's just going to be the final touch on this truck. So you'll have to excuse this part, my microphone malfunction, but the... Uh, I'm going to put links to all this stuff down below that I used on the truck. So if you happen to be doing one of these projects and you're looking for any of these things, you'll know where to look for it. Back over to the Audi over here. So the Audi was a little bit of a victim of rubbing his racing and uh, got side swipe pretty good. Now that whole fender. This needed two front wheels which I got off, oh, what's Derek call that? The uh, the Evil Bay. So I got two uh, wheels off the old Evil Bay, ordered the front tires for it. This whole fender was crushed in. Um, this big dome, goofy, sh very odd shape that's in the side of it. That was all pushed in. <clears throat> and then the door as well in addition to the rocker panel down bottom. Now when it came to finding parts for this car, um, the door, not so much an issue. Rocker panel, found one immediately. The fender, cannot find a fender anywhere in the United States called everybody I know. So I got to break out 
a whole bunch of these, which are body hammers, and a few of these, which are dollies. And the first time this went behind the metal and this struck the metal on top of it and it had a really strange sound, I realized the door is metal. The fender, aluminum. And this is all I had to work with. I got to do this. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? To get that shape back. And we got it. This has gotten all jammed out. Putting all the seals and everything back in it. Now, I'm going to start transferring all the parts out of this door back over into this door. Then I'm going to hang this door on here, straighten out all the body lines. Put the skirt panel on and then the very last thing I left was right here I got a little bit of body work to do I'm probably gonna have to do some hammering and dollying um, and the reason I left this back edge was because my LKQ door that I'm putting on the front edge on that door is perfect, so I'm going to use that as my guiding edge to finish straighten out this back edge right here. Once that's done, I'll paint both panels, blend it into the rear, our skirt panel, rocker panel. It's already painted and done, so that'll just get snapped right back on. I may just blend the end in right there, but I have to say for a butt match, is very easy color to match. Oh well, y'all, that's gonna cover it for today's video. I'm gonna try and get back more in the swing of doing these. I got a pretty cool project possibly coming along. Um, I'll know a little more next week and maybe we'll do a update on that one. Hopefully my engine gets here so I can stab that in there and get this truck out of here, get it on the road. Uh, Audi should be finished up by end of the week and off to the alignment shop. Don't forget to pick up the fresh balls. Click that link below. Hit that subscribe button. Guys, we'll see you later on this week, next week. I don't know. If not through the week, through the window. <laughs>